Hello everyone, welcome to ITM student community channel. This video is all about the solution of question number 4 of maths 1 week 2 graded assignment. So let's see our question. A line L is such that its segment between the lines x minus y plus 2 equal to 0 and x plus y minus 1 equal to 0 is internally bisected at the point 1 comma 1.5. What is the equation of the line L. So let's try to solve. So our given lines are x minus y plus 2 equal to 0. This is our first line and the second line x plus y minus 1 equal to 0. This is the second line. These are our two equations. Now let us assume AB be the segment between these two lines 1 and 2. AB be the segment between the lines 1 and 2 and P which is given that P be the middle point of that line segment AB. So, the coordinate of the points let us assume A is alpha 1 and beta 1 and the coordinate of B is alpha 2 beta 2 right. So, P is the middle point of AB right. P is midpoint of AB. So, we can write like this 1 comma 1.5 equals to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 divided by 2 beta 1 plus beta 2 divided by 2 as P is the midpoint of AB. So, we can write this so, it means alpha 1 plus alpha 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 <coughs> and beta 1 plus beta 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5, right? So, if we simplify, it is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to 2. So, alpha 1 Mm, it is if we write it is alpha 2 is equal to 2 minus alpha 1 right this is our third equation and it is beta 1 plus beta 2 is equal to 3 so beta 2 is equal to 3 minus beta 1 right this is our number 4 equation now this points A and B lie on the lines 1 and 2 respectively. That means A lie on, lies on the line 1 and B lies on the line 2. So, we can write these two equations 1 and 2, these two equations like this alpha 1 minus beta 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 and the line 2 can be written as alpha 2 plus beta 2 minus 1 is equal to 0 right this is equation number 5 and this is equation number 6 now in this equation if we put the values of alpha 2 and beta 2 from 3 and 4 we can get alpha 2 is equal to 2 minus alpha 1 2 minus alpha 1 and beta 2 is equal to 3 minus beta 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 from 3 and 4 right 
so after simplifying we get alpha 1 plus beta 1 it is minus 4 is equal to 0 it is equation number 7 right now this is equation number now here we can get alpha 1 is equal to alpha 1 is equal to 4 minus beta 1 right now if we put this alpha 1 in the equation 5 we get 4 minus beta 1 minus beta 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 so it is 2 beta 1 is equal to 6 right so beta 1 is equal to 3 and beta 1 is equal to 3 then from the 5 equation equation number 5 we can get the value of alpha 1 equals to beta 1 minus 2 beta 1 is 3 so it is alpha 1 is equal to 1 so what is our a point a point is 1 comma 3 now our question is what is the equation of the line l and we consider the line l as a b right now we know the equation of straight line in 2.4 and our two point is of this a b line one point is a and the other point is p p is the midpoint of a b so the line is passing through these two point a and p so the equation of the line in two point form y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 now it is x1 y1 it is x2 y2 so putting the values y minus 3 equals to y2 minus y1 1.5 minus 3 x2 minus x1 it is 1 minus 1 into x minus 1 now it is y minus 3 is equal to minus 1.5 divided by now this term become 0 so what is this term indicates y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 it is our slope of the line right that means this term it is our slope of the line so our slope of the line tan theta slope of the line tan theta here 1.5 divided by 0 this is a undefined term right so tan theta is equal to undefined and when tan theta is undefined we know theta is equal to 90 degree right so slope of the line is 90 degree now how the line looks like if we draw this is our x axis this is our y axis right and the slope of the line is 90 degree so the line looks like this this is our 90 degree angle with x axis and the line is parallel with y axis 
so this line has slope 90 degree which makes an angle 90 degree with x axis so from this equation we can say this whole term becomes 0 and our equation will be x minus 1 equals to 0 right so x equal to 1 so this will be the equation of the line L this is our answer now if we check the option yes it is given in one option x equal to 1 so this will be our right answer <laughs>